Welcome to Collecting Chaos. What you're looking at is Randy Bowen's Batman statue. This is the bronze version. It's number 224 of 250. And I will turn it so you can see the other side. It is heavy. And I think that's going to be my background for today. This is going to be another Eternal My Light Project video. Because, well, I have a lot that it has to go in my light. And we're going to kick it off with some more Superman comics. This is Superman number 219 and I'm going to lower my camera just a little bit so that you can see the whole thing. Excuse the adjustments but Sometimes it's necessary, and I didn't realize the Batman was going to be so big. Ah. There we go. Anyway, it's 219 from August of 1969, and it's in fine plus. And here's Superman 228 from July of 1970, and it's fine to very fine. And Superman 232, uh, Giant 78, from January 1971, in fine to very fine. Superman 241, from August of 71, in good to very good. Superman 242 from September of 71 in very fine to near mint. Superman 243 from October of 1971 in very good to fine condition. I would like to get a near mint copy of this just because I like the cover that much. Superman number 250 from April of 1972 in very good minus. Superman 253 from June of 72 in fine to very fine. Superman 254 from July of 1972 in very good to fine. Huh, I thought I had two copies of that. Superman 255 from August of 1972 in very good minus. Continuing with Superman. <laughs> yeah, I have quite a few here. Superman number 256 from September of 1972 in very good minus. Superman 260 from January of 73 in good to very good. Are you tired of Superman? How about Walt Disney's Comics and Stories number 122 from November of 1950 in fair to good condition. Now we'll do a little equal time for Marvel. Well, sort of. Here's Thor number 134 from November of 66 in good condition. Thor number 135 from December of 1966 in fine to very fine condition. 
Uncanny X-Men number 144 from April of, very, of 81. Very fine to near mint. And here's another Uncanny 144 in fine to very fine. Uncanny X-Men number 186 from October of 84 in near mint minus. Don't you just love that cover? I mean, I don't know why, but that cover's always appealed to me. And it's not just the Barry Smith art. It's just, I, I don't know why. Okay? It's X-Men. It shouldn't appeal to me. I'm a Superman fan. <laughs> what if number seven from February 1978 in Very Fine Minus... Where Creatures Roam, number one. From July of 1970, in Very Fine Minus. I really like the Marvel uh, reprint books from the early 70s. What if Iron Man had been a traitor? This is What If, number one, volume two, from June of 88, in near mint to mint condition. And I have a bunch of these. I bought I bought a collection that had a whole crap load of these, and I still have them. And we're going to finish this one off with What If Volume 2, number 105. Who is she? That was printed in February of 98, and it's in near mint to mint. That's it for today's Collecting Chaos and the Internal, Eternal My Light Project. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you saw some comics you liked. And just remember. It's Batman. And he wants you to tell all your friends about me. Thank you. Bye.